So hi guys, today I'm gonna convert this crude uh, calcium hydroxide with some calcium carbonate to calcium oxide. I'm gonna make it a furnace because a calcium carbonate needs a very high temperature and I can't reach it with just heating plate. In furnace uh, there's a very high temperature so we need good container which won't burn in furnace. I'm using that car oil filter and I just got here that metal cap and it looks like that. I know it's so nasty. I'm gonna now cut this filter too, and then we can start. Okay, so now I can measure out a calcium hydroxide. Mm, that's exactly what I meant. Just 10 grams difference. Mm, I don't know, maybe there was too low temperature. Well, it might be another fail on my channel or uh, calcium source that I'm using is actually oxide. Because if it would be 100% hydroxide, uh, I should uh, make something around 120 grams of it but there's only 10 grams difference between the start mass and the actual mass so maybe I'll check it on a smaller uh, scale um, okay so I've tasted tasted I've tested calcium hydroxide and that was calcium oxide so uh, this what I made in a furnace is actually what I wanted I wanted to make some calcium oxide and I have it uh, I waved a test tube before and after heating so as we can see there's very small difference and this difference even can uh, come from water that was stuck in the test tube and after heating it went as a vapor uh, so instead of uh, making calcium oxide out of uh, calcium hydroxide and carbonate uh, i'll name it cleaning my calcium oxide in a furnace and that's it you can see that it's fail I wanted calcium oxide and there is calcium oxide, okay? Right? So, okay, that's it. That's my cleaned calcium oxide. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe my channel, uh, watch other videos and the bio.